So I'm going to read what's in the flap because I want to just get the gist of the book. So <clears throat> this is what it says. It says, it all waits to be discovered in Miss Pettigrew's home for peculiar children. An unforgettable novel that mixes fiction and photography in a thrilling reading experience. As the story opens, a horrific family tragedy sets 16-year-old Jacob journey to a remote island off the coast of Wales, where he's dis he discovers the crumbling ruins of Miss Pettigrew's home for peculiar children. As Jacob explores in its abandoned bedrooms and hallways, it becomes clear that there is more than just the children there were more than just peculiar. They have they may have been dangerous. They may have been quarantined on the deserted island for a good reason. But somehow impossible though it seems, they may still be alive. So yeah, I I the reason why I put this up was honestly because everybody else has read it. That's honestly why I picked it up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh I'm really glad that I picked it up. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Usually when I review a book, I give it 4 out of 5 stars, which is still really good reading. Uh, but I thought it was a really good book because it was just a, a really quirky, unique book. I really liked that. Um, it was quirky in the storyline, but it was also unique in the way it was presented um, with the photographs. And I don't know if this will show up on camera, but like... I like the way the books is just kind of, you know, just, uh, I love weird, quirky things, and the photographs were really great. They kind of reminded me of what you would find at a circus, uh, you know, and it was just really unique. Um, I really hope Ransom Riggs writes um, more stories because um, I think that I really felt for the characters. I really wanted them to, you know, succeed in what they were trying to accomplish. And um, it was kind of a mystery. I like it. Um, I liked that a lot. And there was a lot. There was some action, romance. Like it had everything that you would have wanted a book in it. Um, this is definitely one of my top favorite books of all time. Um, I love it because it's just so peculiar. And uh, yeah, so you know, I don't want to keep going out of this review. But pick this up, honestly, if you haven't already. I absolutely love this book. I read it in like 24 hours. It was so good. Um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this. It was a great read. So I uh, hope you have a great day, DFTV.